welcome back to her lovely plan make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a video or a live stream and at the end make sure you give me a big thumbs up hey guys so i am here to do my weekly spread in my converted teacher planner that i use for business and social media for this week's spread um, which is going to be for the week of december the excuse me november 26th through december the 1st um i think i'm going to go back to how i did last week before last with washi i really liked how the washi um turned out and I think that's what I'm going to rock with today. So if you want to see how I set up my business social media planner for the week of November 26th to December the 1st, stay tuned. So I've already taken my white out and covered up the dates and the days of the week on this sidebar because as you know, this is the area that I use for my headers. So what I'm doing now is um, laying my washi like I stated um, early in the video. I kind of want to stick to the washi. It's kind of easy way out, but as you can see, going further into the video, I kind of had a struggle with this week's spread. But at the end, it turned out exactly how I wanted it.
so you may want to know how I'm able to find my guide when cutting out the dates underneath this washing um, you can't tell because these are transparent stickers but at the top and the bottom it's almost like they're peeking out at the edges and I can feel the ridges around the stickers as I'm cutting it so it's easier than it really looks um, and I think it just adds a different type of um, layering or just a different element to your spread by doing it like that instead of sticking it the stickers on top of the washing. So before we talk about these fabulous stickers I'm laying, I know you wanna, you're wanna you wondering like, okay, she didn't show her laying these stickers down. It's because one, it took me forever because I couldn't find the stickers that I wanted to use. And then two, I decided later on um, down the line in the video to go ahead and just change them all together and use red lettering. But back to these amazing fold stickers from H Rain Designs. Um, the designer and shop owner is CJ Plans, and I will be leaving her link in the description box so y'all make sure y'all visit her store. But she has some amazing foil icon, and she has some um, kits as well. She doesn't just have icon and wording stickers, so y'all make sure y'all check her out.
So what I'm doing now is just adding some final touches to my spread. And this little technique is something that I picked up from one of my fellow planner babes. And you just kind of cut the corners of your icon stickers. Um, instead of having them overlap the lines, you just cut them to make them look like they're kind of peeking out or coming out of the lines that's on your spread. Okay, you guys, so I have finished my spread in my teacher planner that I have converted to a social media and business planner. And I did go off camera because I realized that all of this, um, the washi that I got from Simply Gilded, the bows are more rose gold. And of course, in the alphabet book, it doesn't have rose gold stickers. So I decided to be creative and to literally think outside the box is to use just the bigger letters um, and it really isn't bothering me that they are um, coming out of the box. Um, I think it kind of adds a little bit of character to it, but I really like this. Um, it's pretty much, the, the wash is kind of like a red-ish kind of, like the flowers, let me see if I can get focused. See, some of these flowers have like red in it so i wanted to pull that red by using the red stickers from the colorful boxes and i went ahead and just added some of these boss babe stickers that comes from my friend tiffany shop and it's that nice let me get back in focus um these boss babe stickers came from tiffany shop it's that beautiful french name Le Cinq Oat. i think i'm pronouncing it right um, I was saying it wrong. I believe I was saying a oat, and I was advised that it's actually oat. But we're just gonna translate it into the fifth of August is the name of her shop. Um, so I got these beautiful um, boss babe stickers, and I decided to stick with the boss theme. So I used a boss babe sticker that came with this kit, and then I used this that came with some stickers from Happy Planner. So I'm really, really pleased with this spread. It's very functional and it still has some white space if I do need to go and fill in anything throughout the week. And if I don't, I'll just have to find some other stickers that match this color theme just to kind of look like I've been doing something. And I know you all noticed something a little different about my YouTube um, icon stickers. And I was able to use these beautiful stickers from h range designs and that sticker shop is owned by um cj plans i'll make sure i leave her link but look how rosy and gold these are and they match perfectly so i use the upload stickers for the days that i upload and typically i schedule my uploads but i still want to remember that i have things that will be uploaded on those days and then typically on mondays I finish it, finish any voiceovers and editing. Um, she didn't have a voiceover sticker, so I just used my go-to faithful, and these were from a Lane Michelle Studios. And then on this end, you did see where I tried to pull it up. Um, the letters are really delicate because she cuts these like perfectly. Um, if you look, let's see if I can focus in on that. So see how the lettering, and I tried to pull it up and it made a little mess here. And I was gonna try to cover it up, but I may do that at the end of the week um, as I get closer to those days. But these stickers are nice. And her Etsy shop just opened this month in November. Um, so y'all make sure y'all go support her. And then I remembered I had these days of the week stickers that I got from let me see, I don't wanna quote it wrong. Let me go to my handy dandy sticker box. Let's see, the category is word stickers. These, the, these came from Simply Me Quiche. And that pop of red is kind of, besides the washi, that pop of red kind of inspired me to go ahead and just keep everything red and black. Um, even though the washi has other colors, I think the washi by itself really sets this 
sets this spread off so with that being said if you like this week's spread make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment below and as well if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you will never miss a live video or one of my new uploads and make sure you check out all the discount codes and links that I have in my description box to some of my favorite shops and some of my favorite items that I use daily. Um, but with all of that being said, make sure you share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace.